Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Mario Kart 8. In this episode we're going to be going to the Leaf Cup, I believe. There's the third Retro Cup. Um, and I'm going to be playing as Baby Rosalina in the... Wait for it. The... Wait for it. The Teddy Buggy. And I'm going to be using the Retro Off-Road. And again, there's no real reason. I think I've already used all the, uh, all the sails, parasail, glider things. So I'm just going to keep using the, gli the cloud glider. And uh, this track, or this cup, I actually kind of like this cup, except for the first race, which unfortunately I have to do the first race four times as I continue doing this with four different characters. So yeah, that's going to be a while. And in case any of you don't remember, because uh, I haven't really talked about it that much uh, during the actual series, um, for mirror mode, I'm going to be doing mirror mode, obviously, after this one. And uh, you guys can suggest which... Uh, character cart comps customization I use uh, per race because I'm going to be doing the same thing where I'm using a different character for every race but I want you guys to decide which character I play and which cart customization and you know that'd be kind of a cool way to have fan interaction and stuff I might like give you a shout out if I like your character cart customization for what map and all that uh, and then you know that'd, that'd be cool I don't know maybe just a little cool thing that happens but um Anyways, back to the actual race. Uh, this, uh, no, um, <laughs> this cart, or not this cart, this track, uh, I'm not a big fan of. And again, I feel like whenever I say I'm not a big fan of a track, it's never for any real reason. It's just, it doesn't really feel good to me for some reason. Except for Dolphin Shoals. That one I just hate. But, um, <laughs> hate's a strong word. But, um, anyways, I should not have used that mushroom quite, quite right there. Well, maybe it's alright. I mean, maybe I'll get a mushroom here. And I did get a mushroom here, so that's pretty nice, uh, because then there's a spot to mushroom boost right here. I did not do that quite as well as I was hoping. Uh, stay away from first as I, whew, as he gets blown up and I avoid the explosion, so that's pretty nice that I wasn't in first at that moment. However, I would like to stay in first for the rest of the race, even if I do get hit by a blue shell. It would be nice to stay in first, um, even with the blue shell, but anyways, as, sadly, uh, even the ATVs with off-road tires can't really drive that well off-road. Like, you would think that an ATV with off-road tires would be slower on the road, but then, like, just as fast off the road or something like that. I don't know. Maybe just my personal opinion or something. And, uh, also, I guess, eh, no. I was gonna give sort of, like, my review on this game, but I can save that till later. Um, so yeah, this course, uh, Retro Course, I've never actually played the original of this course, because I think it was on the DS or the, uh, Game Boy Advance or something. Um, I've never played the Game Boy Advance or the DS versions of this, uh, of Mario Kart. But I have played the Super Nintendo one very briefly, not very much. Uh, the N64 version less briefly, but still not that much. Uh, Double Dash I played a lot. Uh, Mario Kart Wii I played a lot. Um, the 3DS Mario Kart 7 I still have it, and I eh, haven't played it in a while, but I have played it quite a bit. Um, and then obviously Mario Kart 8 I have played so much. It is ridiculous. I'm actually surprised I haven't gotten the uh, Gold Glider yet. And that's one thing, oh man, another blue shot, but um, hopefully I stay in first, but uh, nope, <laughs> I did not stay in first for very long at all. But uh, let's see if this item will help, it's a green shell, that's helpful I suppose, but uh, I'm in first anyway, so um, what was I going to say? Uh, I was going to say that I don't have the golden glider yet, which you get after 10,000 coins, which I don't even know how many coins I have right now. So as I was saying, the golden glider, I still don't know how many coins I need until I can get it, and uh, Oddly enough, as I was talking about, you know, golden glider, golden stuff, um, I'm using pink gold peach with the gold cart and the golden wheels. I wasn't actually planning on getting the golden wheels at this point, but it just happened to be that as I was playing as pink gold peach, I also decided to use the gold standard cart, and then I just happened to have the gold wheels at that time. Anyways, uh, so unfortunately I don't have the golden glider to go along with this golden set, but um, as uh, the golden cart, the gold standard cart, it, uh, it's your max top speed, which, <laughs> uh, that probably didn't actually technically make sense, but, um, the gold standard cart is another cart that has the max top speed that you can get, and, uh, as a heavy character, that increases your top speed even more, um, however, it also has low acceleration, and the wheels, I don't remember looking at the stats for the wheels specifically, but, um, I know that they're not super amazing, I guess, but, um, yeah, I usually go down in the water at that point, but I'm just going to boost, mushroom boost here. I haven't actually done that before, I think maybe once, but um, but yeah, now I'm in first, so that's pretty cool. But I only have two coins, so I need some more coins to uh, boost my top speed. 
And uh, oh look, a coin item. Exactly what I wanted. Uh, like literally, that's I wanted that coin item. And uh, fortunately, just gotta avoid that banana. And I uh, can't go to the right boost. But um, anyways, this track, the uh, Sherbert Land. I actually really like this track. Um, I kind of didn't like it on the GameCube, but the visuals on this game look amazing. So it looks pretty cool. The nighttime uh, ambiance or whatever looks really cool. The aurora borealis in the sky, and then the uh, the water level, or the water parts of this level, uh, I think are pretty cool. And uh, unfortunately, <laughs> the blooper waited until I got into the water to bloop me, so that going into the water would not unbloop me. But um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, obviously not a huge problem, and I really saw that blue shell coming. Uh, that's pretty interesting, but, um, anyways, Ludwig getting ahead of me there. And, uh, ah, dang, I didn't mean to use the mushroom there, but it doesn't really make a big difference, because there's not a lot of points where using a mushroom boost is super helpful. Um, obviously there was that one point that I used it on that it was pretty helpful, but, uh, it's not like this place is filled with shortcuts or anything like that. Um, at least not as far as I can tell. Uh, I never really use shortcuts here, but um, except for that one that I used with the mushroom, which I never really used, so uh, that's close. <laughs> Almost got hit by the banana. But um, man, surprised I'm not like just speeding past Ludwig, um, even with the draft, which uh, the draft was not accompanied with a very good drift. But um, anyways, just go through here. Now you can actually see it without the bloop in the way, um, and just get a little trick off that. And nope, I'm good. Just checking to see if there's anyone behind me. Alright, so now we're on to Music Park, which is from the 3DS, uh, which I really like this stage. It's pretty cool with all the musicalness of it, even though I'm not really that musically talented. But anyways, I am playing as Iggy, I think? <laughs> I actually don't remember which one this is. Pretty sure that's Iggy, uh, on the tri-speeder with the button wheels, because I've already used all the wheels, so I'm just kind of doing whatever. Um, for this one in particular, actually, uh, I usually like to use a cart that has about even uh, top speed and acceleration. So the tri-speeder and the button is a pretty good combination for that. Either the button or the ruler, roller or the azure roller. And here, I don't think you're actually supposed to do that. Uh, how I just sort of jumped over the grass to use the boost. Um, but I think it works, because uh, jumping over the grass part means that you're not taking as much of a speed decrease uh, from the actual grass part of it. Um, so, ah, dang it. Uh, I was trying to get the glider, but, um, I was trying to get the glider boost thing. But uh, this part's kind of cool, the way that each of those little sections was different. And uh, here, let's see if I can do this. Uh, bounce off there and use the mushroom to boost through. That is how you use that shortcut very efficiently. Um, that's probably the best I've ever taken that shortcut because I never have a mushroom. But um, anyways, uh, so just go through here. And I'm trying to avoid these brown plants. I think it'd be kind of cool if like, if you feed the brown plant a banana by throwing it at them, then they won't eat you. And uh, obviously by technique of jumping over the grass, uh, still needs some work because sometimes you do still take enough of a speed decrease to not be able to get a little boost off of the jump. Um, which kind of makes that little shortcut kind of pointless. Uh, just a little bit though. But uh, anyways, I'm using the cloud gliders, even even though I should probably be using the Bowser glider when I'm using the Koopa Kids, but uh, I just prefer the cloud glider, and I'm pretty sure I've already used all the gliders on all the characters, so not a big deal. And uh, unfortunately, that's the problem you run into when you take that shortcut too soon, is uh, that you get stuck in the grass. But um, anyways, just avoid that green gel. Don't even know where that came from. They must have thrown it right before the lightning. But um, anyways, just take this turn nice and sharp. Always like trying to get as close as I can to the edge. But um, anyways, let's see if I can take this jump a little better. Just trying to... Nope, didn't take it that well. But um, still not a huge deal. I mean, obviously I'm not losing a bunch of speed or anything. And uh, just use that coin to bring myself back up to 9. And then get the 10th coin right there. Very nice. And, um, okay, good. Still got the glider. And what I really like is that all these obstacles are based on the actual music, uh, in the level. So, that was close. Almost got crushed by the musical note. Um, I made the joke to my brother saying, like, oh, that was a C flatten. And then he was like, no, that, it, that, that doesn't work. Alright, so this is now the final cup. No, that's the final cup. Final course of this cup. Uh, Leaf Cup, Yoshi Valley, S64, blah, blah, blah. I'm just saying whatever first in front of me. Uh, so, well, blah, blah, blah wasn't in front of me. But anyways, I'm going to be playing as Roy on the airship land ship thing with the slick wheels because that's pretty cool. And I actually didn't realize until I was actually racing that the land ship has those little cannon things on the side that are just 
not actually shooting anything, but just making the effect as if they're shooting. And as soon as I noticed that, I was just staring at that for like a whole lap, and uh, not exactly playing too well <laughs> when I was on the first course. But uh, anyways, this track, um, I always go on the far left, but I really haven't checked to see if the other courses, or the other, um, the other, whatchamacallit, uh, track path things uh, are actually faster. Um, but it seems like it's the fastest, the far left. Uh, I heard that it was the fastest, um, but I've never actually tested it. But anyway, it's going to use this mushroom for this boost right here. Or not this boost, this, uh, well, yes, a boost, but uh, yeah, a little shortcut. Didn't use that quite as well as I thought, because for some reason I thought there was a uh, fence uh, closer to where I was than it was. Or something. I don't know, that didn't make sense. But anyways, I'm going to go far right this time and see how long that takes. It seems like it'd take a lot longer. Um, but I don't actually know, so it's actually, like I said, first time I've been this way. Very interesting. That, uh, yeah, that was definitely really long. Um, <laughs> it took me back to that, wow, that, that was, like, bad. <laughs> that was really bad. Okay, I'm never going that way again. Um, so I'm just gonna take the far left again to try to make up time for the far right that I just went through. So yeah, ah, no, that was bad. Okay, this is not going well. It's always the last track, isn't it? Well, except for the last cup, then it was like all the other courses, except for the last lap. I mean, last course. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Um, <laughs> so anyways, uh, I'm second. Thought I just got into first, but apparently not. Um, let's see, who's in front of me? Just gonna check real quick. Wendy! Wendy is in front of me. And uh, I just checked by using the gamepad to go to the other screen that uh, is what we call it. I'm not gonna explain it now because I need to focus on driving because I need to uh, make it into first and I am in first but that is sort of like a type not a typographical error but just because there's so many paths sometimes you'll, it'll say you're in first when you're actually not and uh, apparently I am. Uh, apparently I really passed Wendy uh, by quite a bit. Um, wow. Alright. And I almost got hit by the banana. Or I almost ran into that banana. I almost ran into that one too because uh, I was looking the other way. But anyways got this prawn plant. I uh, don't really need it, so I'm just going to use it to, uh, of course, as soon as I say I don't need it, I run into a banana peel. i um, going to use it to get those coins a little bit easier, and then just keep pressing it to give myself a little bit more of a boost. And Ludwig is back there, but he is too slow, because I just took first. And, um, yeah, so, that's a thing, I guess. Uh, just two more cups, and, like, six, six more people? Yeah, six more people. Um, I was going to say seven or eight, but uh, yeah, six more people. I'll explain what I'll do for the last two uh, when I get to that point. But anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.